Hey everyone, just wanted to throw a video out today. Uh, got my first tournament in a week, so went through this morning and rigged everything up. Figured I'd give you a tour of my Plano boxes. Um, let's just be the, the setup check-in video essentially for the tournament. Um, I said, got that on Saturday. Uh, I've got two lakes to choose from. One is a clear lake, one's a dirty lake. The clear lake's deeper. I'm leaning more towards the clear, deeper lake um, versus the dirty, or the muddy, shallow lake. I shouldn't say really dirty, but it's stained. Um, haven't quite decided yet. I might get out there tomorrow and check both the lakes out, but I'm not sure yet. Sorry, I was burping. I'm trying not to burp in your face, but... Um, go through the what I've got all set up here my ideas so running a spinnerbait silver gold double willow so just shad colors running a high tech on that here we're running a black and blue jackhammer chatterbait this will be running a um, bio spawn worm on it I'll show you that when I get to that box uh, Ned, a Ned jig on this one, and then a micro finesse jig on this one. Uh, the trailer on that will be a um, Gambler Little Otter. Haven't decided what I'm going to throw on the Ned rig yet. I've got a few options. So we will start with, let's zoom out here a little bit, the terminal box. So in here I've got bullet weights, bullet weights. I've got a random bullet weight in here, some random split shots, um, some, some uh, rings for <clears throat> putting hooks on stuff, and then these little rubber bands. So these little rubber bands, I'll use them for uh, on my spinner baits and buzz baits. I'll show you that when we get to that box. And then I also use these sometimes for uh, wacky rigging a stick bait. We have drop shot weights, um, <clears throat> net rig heads, and then we've got a couple of uh, shaky head jig heads. Here's some vector hook tornado trebles. I've got those on all of my crank baits, top water baits, everything I could I could change out the treble hook is now vector hooks, uh, tornado trebles. Got some snap swivels, some regular ball swivels, uh, vector hooks. These are heavy flipping hooks. Uh, these ones are bait holders. Uh, we've got a bunch of various uh, finesse uh, worm hooks, uh, offset worm hook. These are in a five aught. So these I'll use with my really long worms. Um, so EWGs. Couple different packs of those and then some kale hooks now these kale hooks i like the one-odd kale for wacky rigging stick baits really like that i need to order some more the other pack i've got is three odd which works but not as good as the the one odd and then i just run all these Plano 3700 size boxes for in the kayak. Works out really well for me. So in here we got the micro finesse jigs from Vector Hooks. You can't get these anymore, at least not right now. I don't know if he's just having issues with supply for the jigs, but you can't get any jigs in the Vector Hooks website right now that I know of. And we have Vector Hooks jig here. Another vector hooks jig, and yes, I've got my trailers on here, but these are, yeah, I can still definitely smell that one, and I can still smell that one. These are those, these are Guggen baits for my trailers on these, and they see, the scent on them seems to last forever. So, good job on that, Guggen guys. Um, just got some original chatter baits here, yeah, two originals on a white and tartuse jackhammer. Here we've got the top water box. Uh, 
This popper here I've had for a long, long time. I still catch fish on it. Oh, I've got some grasshopper poppers in there. Soft plastics box, which is jam packed, doesn't want to close. So, like for Ned Rigs, and I've got finesse TRDs. I could run some of these little little worms for a Ned Rig. Got different uh, colored TRD. These guys by 10,000 fish. I'll run these on Ned Rigs, they work out pretty well. Alright, so we got swim baits, so Kai Tech, KVDs. Uh, Somatis, then we move into the paddle tail baits, like uh, the Authentics, Pulsars, the Kalins, the other tickle tails, and we got stick baits. And then here's the Biospawn Plasma Tails I was talking about. This is what I'll be Texas rigging this weekend. Those worked really well for me last spring. I got some Guggen Slim Shake, you know, one of them I still got a hook in it. I, I hadn't even noticed that until I started doing this video. Um, and this is like a number three for this video. So we just got more beads and more worms. I've got an itch, sorry. Sorry, had an itch. Uh, I use these for my drop shots. They work really good for me. Some of these Japanese crazy looking creature baits. Caught a few fish on those. Here's those gambler little otters. I really like these. Got the Doomsday, uh, Doomsday Turtle, if I could speak. Caught some fish off that. I caught bass and pike on these turtles. Uh, this live magic shad. I've had mixed results on this. Some days they really like it, some days they don't. And then the rest is all just various craw baits, uh, bug baits, and then we got some lizard baits in there. Excuse me, I try to close this case back up here. I need to start a second deep box for my soft plastics, I think. And here we've got my diving crankbaits, various colors, sizes, shapes. For when I actually throw crankbaits on, which isn't very often. And here we've got some stick baits, a lipless crankbait, one little mini diver, and then the rest is all uh, wake baits. It's like this wake bait, wake bait here, I still got a. I'm gonna get some eyes on it, and then get some rings and hooks on it. And lastly, we've got spinnerbait box. So we got some various spinnerbaits in here. And then this buzz bait, I'll show you what I was talking about with the rubber band. This one has an old rubber band on it. They used to have these really thick green ones. And they lasted quite a while. I just don't know where I got them from originally or where to get them again. But if you don't, since you're not down tight enough, or if you're using a snap swivel, it'll move all around on that horn there. If you throw a rubber band on there before you tie or before you put a snap swivel on that, then it'll trap that, it'll trap your, your line in the horn and it can't move all around. And I've got a couple buzz baits, a smaller one and a bigger one with outskirts on them. On those, I like to run uh, Kalen's Tickle Tails. instead of skirts and that's worked out pretty well for me in the past now i've got four more spinner baits coming i've got some more soft plastics coming not sure if they'll get here before the tournament or not but 
while I'm putting these boxes back up here. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, go check those out. Um, I try to keep the fishing videos, you know, just, just me fishing, catching fish. And, um, you know, just some music, all the music that I get, that I find is all free to use music. So it's nothing spectacular. Um, it's all more calm mood stuff, uh, some rock stuff in there. Um, yeah, so go check out the other videos. Feel free to share my videos. Uh, if you have any questions on anything, any of my videos, this video, uh, feel free to comment. Um, hit that like, subscribe, check out the, uh, the giveaway box video update. If you haven't seen that yet, go check that out. See what the details are in the giveaway box. Um, I'm going to try and get some more content out on a reg on a somewhat regular basis, but, um, I believe life is going to be super busy again this year between work and pre-fishing for tournaments and trying to get ready for tournaments. I've got tournaments every single month, sometimes two a month. So it's, it's going to be another hectic summer. So I'll work on trying to get more content out, content out for you guys on a somewhat regular basis. I can't make any promises though, but I'm not one to flood you with content with content. But as we grow, I know I gotta get more and more. It is warm today. I'm sweating. Um, it's almost 80 degrees today, and then we got some thunderstorms rolling in tonight, tomorrow morning. So I might be able to go pre-fish a little bit tomorrow, but we we shall see. Otherwise, I won't be on the water again till Saturday morning for the tournament. But we're already hitting 12 minutes here, so I'm gonna cut her short. Just hit that like, subscribe, uh, share the video if you if you want to. Um, the numbers only help me out in showing that I'm providing you guys content that you like. Um, if there's if there's other stuff you want to see, like I said, you got questions, you want to see the close-ups of anything, um, just let me know. Hit, hit me up in the comments. I try to answer everything in the comments as long as it's something that pertains to the video or makes sense. And there, You'll see some comments on a couple of my videos just absolutely make no sense. So I just leave them be. Um, trying to think if there's anything else because now we're at coming on 13 minutes here i try not to ramble but when i do make these talking videos i, I ramble um yeah that's it thanks for watching and have a nice day